All right, so uh, this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and as well a uh, Scorpio Rising. <clears throat> Weekly General Tarot Reading, March uh, 9th to March 15, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is uh, interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a website, a link to my website, excuse me, from which uh, you can a uh, purchase such. So that being said, moving straight away uh, to the spread, we do have the Six of Pentacles as a general topic uh, of the week for us, Scorpio. Uh, followed by uh, the energies feeding and supporting the topic here, that is to be the full card. <clears throat> moving next, we have the challenges that we have to overcome, uh, and that is to be the Queen of uh, Cups. Followed by the next one, which represents the gifts and the blessings that we can enjoy throughout the week. That is to be uh, the uh, strength card. Moving next, it is uh, the impression that you are going to leave into the people around. That will be the Ten of Cups. And the last one uh, that we do have, it is uh, the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to us. <clears throat> that will be the Ten of uh, the Ten of Wands. So the situation uh, looks like um, a very similar to mother child mother and child type of a situation uh what i mean is that uh, it does look like that we are going to have a good opening or a good opportunity to do something okay for our business or for our relationship or to establish business or or, or a relationship something like that you, you know to take on a, a a leap of faith if you will that is described here by the full card uh, but we are to have as well a person who is going to be very concerned about us and about our success in general. So it's kind of like a person that is to be quite skeptical about how ready we are to a jump forward or to leap forward into a development. So uh, these are the first couple of cards here for us, Scorpio. And uh, the first one, which is the Fool, these are the energies feeding and supporting the topic itself. So those energies are bringing us the new uh, or the new things. As everybody probably knows, the Fool is uh, marked as a new beginning. Or I should say the moment just before the new beginning uh, manifests. <clears throat> Therefore, the Fool as a energy it kind of allows us our ideas to uh, to take on better shape into uh, into our head and as well to be systemized in a relatively um, not comprehensive but the word that I was uh, searching for is cohesive a cohesive plan uh, moving forward now uh, with those en energies with the full card ideas that kind of seemed ridiculous and preposterous back in the days now are to be completely accomplishable and that exactly it is what is going to lift our spirit and is going to boost as well our uh, enthusiasm if you will but that is uh, about the um, gifts and the blessings that we're going to go there into um, in a minute however with the full card it looks like that we are to become much more uh, the word probably should be exhilarated in a sense of that we are to be much more carefree, um, a lack of detachment to the problems around. It is because we are going to have a, a new goal or a new idea to follow and it will be completely, uh, I, I can't say completely irrelevant, but definitely much more irrelevant than before. What kind of a difficulties we are facing right now. So in other words, uh, throughout this week, we are to kind of have a new, it's not even new perspective, but it's more like a new thing that we can hold on to in case our current endeavors and our current staffs are not working as we, we we would like we would like them to work and if i have to give us an, an example as a scorpio <clears throat> say that our work isn't going very well uh, our job that is well um maybe throughout this week an idea for a private business is going to be is going to become manifestable and therefore we are going to ease our nerves about becoming jobless because if the job doesn't work well then we are going to start manifesting the idea of our business or our relationship doesn't work very well well maybe the full card then represents a a new potential interest like a, a intimate interest that even if that relationship doesn't work out 
while we do have something else to look forward to. So this is what the fool does uh, represent. And uh, it's kind of going to make our life uh, much more dappled with colors. What I mean is, is because it will become much more amusing. <clears throat> To move forward toward the future and as well we are going to have a uh, much more hope that the best is yet to come um I, what else i can say here is that uh, for those who have uh, abandoned hope for that their life is going to improve that hope is going to start returning back again seeing the new prospect that they can actually accomplish and that leads us to the situation of the six of pentacles and that situation uh, in this particular case is a, a situation of uh, of creativity. In other words, start believing that um, we are in the we are on the right track with our lives, and now all comes to that how we are to tackle with a new perspective, and also the awareness that it is up to us to make the most out of it instead of waiting someone else to do it for us, because. Um, even if we do have an option to get a help throughout the week, um, the help that comes from the Six of Pentacles, unfortunately, it can be classified, it can be classified as a futile. And I will explain you what, uh, why, excuse me. Uh, so if you s observe the card, we do have a rich man, uh, kind of like giving coins to the poor people, or to the beggars, that is. Well, maybe those coins, those money will... Um, kind of buy a supper to the beggar maybe they are going to buy them a, a place to stay for a couple of days but after those couple of days are gone the beggar will be a beggar and the rich man it will be a rich man once again so you can't you know, so the help that we can get can only postpone the inevitable but ultimately at the end of the day the results that we are going to reap after you know we start moving into that new perspective will be based on our own personal performance and this is exactly where the challenge comes from. So that will be the Queen of Cups. And the Queen of Cups here represents a person who loves us very, very much. And simply they don't want us to see, uh, they don't want us to suffer. They don't want to see us suffering. And that's why they are to be much more protective than uh, they should be in that particular case. Take it as a uh, immune system on uh, on steroids. You know, when the, our immune system is on, is on steroids, actually harms our body. So while that person wants to to do good things for us and wants to protect us from imaginary uh, failure or imaginary disappointment moving forward, they are actually kind of like stopping us of chasing our own happiness. And here, the challenge for us, Scorpio, is to be to once again a detach from the worries of that person itself, which could be very, which could most likely be our mother or someone that has a, a motherhood figurine, uh, in, uh, that it is a motherhood figurine um, in our life, person who knows our plights, person who knows our secrets as well, someone who is very discreet about us and in generally feels for us a lot. And it may break our heart, you know, that we have to go against their advice and we have to kind of put them into place saying, you know, you just mind your own business and let me worry about my own. But ultimately, if we want to take advantage or kind of like make use of this um, new perspective of ours, of, of, of this new thing that it will kind of like restore hope into our lives, actually we have to sever ties with those people that are overprotective of us because this overprotection once again it's kind of like blocking our sides for the uh for the opportunities that we can have moving forward into uh into the future uh that moved that moves us to the next one which is uh, the strength card and that are the gifts and the blessings so we are to be gifted with abnormal enthusiasm and eagerness to jump into action knowing that whatever it is in front of us we do possess the necessary not only skills but in this case patience to tackle with it and to take as much time as we need in order to make it right without going into any extreme for example a a, a frantic performance 
destroying more than actually creating or complete negligence leaving everything to solve itself on its own accord here we are talking about a balance to know when to act and how much um, urgency we have to incorporate into our situation so we can have a balanced result, uh, result at the end of the day uh, and also we are to be blessed with uh, unyielding or iron will maybe I have to classify it in a sense that no matter what anybody tells us we pretty much are going to be convinced what is good for us so that being said it doesn't look like that anybody can actually change your heart in term or change our heart in term of what we want for our future and this is another point from where the challenge comes from that our person thinks that they know what is best for us but it isn't and once again we are coming to that um, relationship mother and children where the mother thinks that she knows what is best for her children but that is not always the case is it and uh, once again we have to be strong in order to repose this overprotective behavior from that uh, specific person so what kind of impression we are going to leave into the people around here we do have the ten of cups a very very happy person someone who just found a new reason to live to live excuse me so you can expect uh, that uh, throughout the week itself, once again, to regain um, hope in life and also either, uh, well, it most likely is going to be all of a sudden, uh, our life will increase its worth a big time and um, people will see us like we don't need anything more than that. It is like our, um, our maximum potential has been unfolded. However, with the Ten of Cups, uh, we do have that threat into the human nature that no matter how much one has, it always wants more or it needs more, if you will. So uh, that kind of only gives us an idea how little people know us. And that uh, even though right now we do have an enthusiastic goal that we are to chase, that does not mean that this is the end of the road for us. But at least, like said at the start of the reading, we will know that that is something that will set us on the right track on the right track on the right path for us to be happy moving forward into the future which could be once again new job new 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 love for example new project and uh, so on and so forth but once again it's something that we have to tackle on our own without expecting that someone else is going to do the dirty job for us and the last one uh, it's really touching on uh, uh, touching on that subject about um, the solo work here we do have the Ten of Wands and that is the Guidance card for a Scorpio. So as a Guidance card, uh, Ten of Wands really tells us that we have to approach the situation as serious as possible in a sense of that there is no way how we can cut any corners around. So as soon as we see that new uh, objective of ours, that kind of gives a um, sense into our life we will also have a pretty good idea what kind of criteria we need to accomplish in order to seize the goal in front say that if that is a person we are to date with we will pretty much know what that person likes and what that person expects from us and if we want to seize that opportunity or rather grasp the person around we will have to fit into those criteria and those expectations is it going to be tough Definitely is going to be tough because with the eight of because oh, with the ten of wands, excuse me, it does come to a lot of toil. It's really it's a sluggish uh, kind of like an endeavor. But also the ten of wands promises that the reward is going to worth it a big time. So only those who are stubborn enough to deny failure and to kind of like be tenacious and not to give up ultimately at the end of the day will be uh, blessed with a, a pretty good achievement the rest i am not so sure so probably that reading it kind of gives me something to, to think about because i am not uh, one of the most tenacious one i'm not one of the most stubborn one if you will and on the yielding as well uh, and probably i have to rethink that and i need to be a bit more uh, pressing when it comes to chasing certain goals but anyway, uh, that was our general tarot reading, guys. It does look like that new thing is coming into our horizon. I already have mine. Actually, it's scheduled already uh, in the upcoming week. So I pretty much 
know what um, I'm talking about. Uh, hopefully it's, um, a, it turns out to be a good thing because the reading doesn't say really, uh, but ultimately at the end of the day it, it gives me something to look forward to. Hopefully that is your case as well. And um, once again, if you are interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website. Uh, from which uh, you can decide what kind of a version of a reading you want and depending on that version I'm going to contact you within 24 hours upon purchase um, to this to explain you how the reading is going to take place Hopefully we're going to see each other around and until then Bye